of all, we want to thank everybody for coming out, of course. The Ludacris Foundation, that's what we are here for. So everybody need to give yourself a round of applause for attending this function right about now. We were supposed to come up here. They, you know, they asked me to perform. I was just going to do like two or three songs. But since his family in here, I might just start taking requests on whatever y'all want me to do. Yeah. <laughs> y'all give it in. Foundation. Now, not only did folks come out to have a great time, they came out for a great cause. The Ludacris Foundation is dedicated to helping underprivileged youth by exposing them to music and art. Today's festivities included a silent auction, outdoor gambling, and a great performance by the man himself. 20 years wide, 20 years high, hold on to like my 20 years pride. 20 years lies, make 20 years fly, hoping for America. We've had numerous uh, foundation events in Atlanta, and we always venture out. And of course, we want to we want to do events all over the world, not just in the United States of America. And of course, I have a, a good friend by the name of Tim Durham who kind of set this thing up. That's why we're doing it for the first time here on the West Coast, and I don't think it'll be the last. This event really is for the children. Why is it so important to have things like this? I'm from Flint, Michigan. She's from Gary, Indiana. You can't get more urban than that. <laughs> And, you know, being in the arts, and, you know, I'm, we're one of the few that survive, and there's a, there's a lot of brilliant talent. I mean, when you talk about yeah. hip-hop itself, hip-hop itself is a, is a form of urban art that has transformed the world. So, you know, who knows where the next Martin Luther King, the next, you know, uh, yeah. super artist, the next Leonardo da Vinci may be growing up right in the hood. I definitely am a strong believer in um, giving back and being positive to the youth. Um, it's something that I actually got involved with early on. I just, I graduated about a year ago and I um, majored in social work. So this is definitely my cup of tea and I'm here for it. Okay, okay. Everybody get your hands together. Whenever something is in need, of course, like Hurricane Katrina, a lot of people migrated to Georgia, so we helped out a lot of families. But on an annual basis, we do something called Luda Christmas events, of course, where we help out underprivileged children. We do back-to-school events where there, there are children that you know may not have the, the, the school supplies and, and things that they need in order to go back to school, so we do fundraisers for that. And we know you have a baby girl, a daughter. She's old enough to contribute. Does she ever like bounce, you ever bounce ideas off of her? Oh, man, I'll make her work. Well, we, did a, we did a Thanksgiving turkey drive in Atlanta and of course I had her working right there with me so it's extremely important that she learns at an early age that she is very fortunate and she, you know it's important to give back and understand her power and what she has the power to do and I'm just trying to lead by example what's the name of this song we still waking them up little by little I see that I see it